A series of fires and explosions erupted across China, killing many people. The disturbing scene of forced demolitions showed up. Netizens said, this photo deserves a Pulitzer Prize. The Chinese real estate crisis caused a domino effect. A 67-year-old architecture company in Nanjing has suspended salaries for three months, provoking employee protests. Expert, she continues to stay invisible and focus on preparing for war. It's all covered in today's China Truths. A series of fires and explosions erupted across China, killing many people. In a series of unfortunate incidents, fires have erupted in various regions of China. On August 19, authorities from Chaoyang District in Beijing released a statement regarding a fire incident. According to the report, at 9.02 a.m. on the same day, emergency services were notified of a fire on the rooftop of Building 168 in Shili Village, Chaoyang District, Beijing. Firefighters managed to contain the flames around 10 o'clock after an hour-long battle. The fire was related to office supplies, though no further specifics or causes were disclosed. An investigation by the Epic Times reveals that the building's layout includes medical equipment and ginseng on the first floor, a global assortment of tea and tea sets on the second floor, health food on the third floor, and family planning supplies on the fourth floor. Meanwhile, another fire incident transpired on August 18 at the Hongxia community on Honggu Road, Chongning District, Shanghai. The conflagration, reported by People's Concern, erupted at midnight, prompting witnesses to evacuate as the fire escalated from the third floor, nearly reaching the fourth. Witnesses at the scene have recounted a tragic incident where a woman lost her life in a fire. Describing the intense blaze, they noted how flames erupted forcefully from the windows on the third floor before surging upwards. The fire raged for approximately 30 minutes. According to the local neighborhood committee, the victim was not a resident but someone visiting or staying with friends. Two others managed to escape the flames. The 18th of August marked a day marred by multiple fire incidents across China. In the early hours around 1 a.m., a devastating fire tore through the Dream Jiaxing Inn in Jiaxing Dong village, located in Liping County, Guizhou Province. Tragically, at least nine individuals lost their lives, and two others sustained injuries in the inferno. The flames were so fierce that some occupants resorted to jumping from the building to escape. The exact cause of this fatal fire remains unknown. Around 10 a.m. on the same day, near Jideagu in Yuanbao District, Dandong, Liaoning Province, a desulfurization tower unexpectedly caught fire, unleashing a raging conflagration from its chimney. The tower ultimately collapsed under the ferocity of the flames. This harrowing incident resulted in undetermined casualties. Furthermore, a massive blaze erupted on the evening of August 18 in Changshu City, Jiangsu Province, suspected to have originated from a factory. Videos circulating online vividly depict the fierce inferno that painted the night sky crimson, drawing a crowd of onlookers at the roadside. The footage showcases a shorter building engulfed in flames behind two others, emitting billowing black smoke as it burns red hot. Emergency responders swiftly arrived on the scene, with several fire engines working to control the blaze and ensure the safety of the surrounding area. While some sources indicate the fire emerged in a clothing factory, conflicting reports from netizens suggest a carton factory could also be the source. As of now, official statements have yet to provide details, including any potential casualties. Previously, in the early hours of August 17, an explosion jolted a chemical plant in Huainan, Anhui province. The deafening blast roused numerous residents from their sleep, causing extensive damage to the homes of hundreds in the vicinity. The facility at the center of the incident was Debong Chemical Company, situated within Huainan City's Economic Development Zone. The company's operations encompass hazardous chemical production, fertilizer manufacturing, basic chemical raw materials, and various chemical products, including soda ash, ammonium chloride, and baking soda. 
a local villager, Mr. Hu, recounted that the explosion emanated from a pipeline within the Debong Chemical Company. Workers from the village who were employed at the plant informed him that there were no casualties resulting from the explosion. The disturbing scene of forced demolitions showed up. Netizens said, this photo deserves a Pulitzer Prize. According to a report from Apollo.com, a recent photograph that has been circulating on the internet has ignited fervent discussions among netizens. The picture, which has been shared widely online, portrays an elderly man standing alone on a platform with his bare hands, confronting a group of over 20 middle-aged men. Several of these men are outfitted with helmets and hold defensive gear such as shields. This visual has evoked strong reactions from internet users, with comments including this is incredibly impactful, this image merits a Pulitzer Prize, this is award-worthy, such a tragically powerful composition, and this single photograph exposes the wrongdoing of a regime. Many also predict that this image will become a lasting symbol, echoing through the years due to its timeless nature. The Chinese real estate crisis caused a domino effect. A 67-year-old architecture company in Nanjing has suspended salaries for three months, provoking employee protests. The rapid growth of China's real estate sector has set off a series of interconnected events. A long-standing firm, Nanjing Architectural Design and Research Institute, established 67 years ago, has encountered financial turmoil. Employees of Nanjing Architectural Design and Research Institute Company have reported a dire situation, as revealed in an August 17 news report by Jiangsu TV station. Numerous employees expressed grievances over the non-payment of their salaries spanning three months, compounded by the suspension of their social security benefits and medical insurance coverage. An employee corroborated the financial hardship, explaining that more than 260 colleagues remain unpaid. The prevailing sentiment among the employees is that they would be more understanding if the company were to eventually provide delayed salaries. However, they find the termination of social benefits, especially medical insurance, to be unconscionable. According to a NetEase News report, out of the more than 260 workers at Nanjing Architectural Design Institute who were grappling with unpaid wages, only six chose to sever their employment ties with the institution. Unfortunately, the Design Institute seems unable to provide compensation. Operating as an asset light enterprise, the Institute's assets are primarily limited to computers and printers, rendering them of marginal value in terms of possible sales. Labor Security Supervision Brigade officials in Nanjing's Qinghui District disclosed that they had received an extensive influx of employee complaints, revealing the gravity of the situation. The report highlights an escalating trend of challenges among design institutes. Many of these companies have faced closures, leaving a stark contrast between the prosperous fortunes of the bosses and executives and the dire struggles of the employees, particularly those in junior and senior positions. Among netizens, a range of sentiments emerged. Some bemoaned the situation, acknowledging the downsizing that has transpired within design institutes but acknowledging the lucky individuals who still retain their jobs, albeit without compensation. Calls for legal intervention were also present, as netizens questioned the absence of labor laws and enforcement agencies. Expert, she continues to stay invisible and focus on preparing for war. The regions of Hebei and northeast China have been hit hard by floods, resulting in significant flooding and triggering protests from affected individuals across various locations. However, during a recent meeting of the Standing Committee of the Political Bureau of the Chinese Communist Party on August 18, the top echelons of the CCP collectively asserted that the ongoing efforts for flood control and disaster relief had achieved noteworthy progress. Meanwhile, Xi Jinping has been maintaining a low public profile lately, leading prominent commentator Jiang Feng to propose that Xi's absence might be attributed to his focus on matters other than the struggling economy. Jiang Feng, the host of the renowned commentary show Jiang Feng Moment, remarked, amidst the raging flood, the unseen leader has remained out of sight. He was absent for 18 days, and yet he executed a significant maneuver. What kind of action was it? He instructed party members and officials to divulge information about their affiliations. 
What's the implication? Is there a sweeping purge in the works? On August 15, the CCP's publication Seeking Truth released an article deemed crucial to Xi Jinping, which targeted Western nations, particularly the United States, for their perceived affronts, likening them to Mao Zedong's belligerent calls to action. Concurrently, the CCP mandated that high-ranking officials complete a social relationship form on the same day. The form encompassed a broader spectrum of relationships than traditional political assessments during civil service examinations. It required detailing workplace information, positions held, familial connections, and any business involvements within the family circle. Jiang Feng commented, in the past, emperors used to use severe punishment to control their subjects by implicating all nine clans. Look at this table of relationships. The range of relatives must exceed nine clans, and specific jobs, names of enterprises, positions, and the political profile of each person must be written down. Even the information of the retired or even the dead must be filled in, and they are threatened that if you don't fill in the information truthfully, you will be regarded as disloyal to the party. Jiang Feng has drawn attention to the possibility of Xi Jinping making comprehensive preparations for potential conflict. This involves having party officials compile a roster of influential affiliations, a move aimed at tightening their hold on power. Nonetheless, this approach, characterized by an authoritarian governance style, has engendered significant discontent within the system. Don't forget to comment in the section below to share your opinions on today's topic with us. Make sure to like and subscribe to see more interesting topics from China Truths.